You are welcome to Best Brain on City TV. This is where knowledge lives and this is your station of choice, City TV. If you're wondering what this contest is about, it is a contest open to junior high schools from across the country who come together to try to figure out which one of them has been rather busy studying their books and which of them has been kicking everything to the curb. It's a great contest where students come together to showcase what they have. The schools also come together to see and show us what they have been training the kids about. It's a great contest and I do enjoy it every time when I bring it to you. My name is Philip Ashorn and I am your quiz master. <laughs> Let's meet the students from Ministry of Health Basic School. Hello, my name is Benexa Ashley. I'm 14 years of age. I attend Ministry of Health Basic School and in Form 2. My hobbies are dancing and singing. Our opponents, Unique Child, should be ready for our victory because we are bringing the trophy home. Hi, I'm Christiana Apia from Ministry of Health Basic School and I'm in Form 2. My hobbies are reading and watching movies. This year, our opponents should expect nothing but the best from our school. Hello, my name is Ogeta Nagbezu. I am 14 years of age. I attend Ministry of Health Baby School. I'm in Form 2. My hobbies are eating and reading. Nick Child, better get an ambulance because we are giving you a heart attack. <laughs> Let's now meet Unique Child International School students. Hey, my name is Herab Nahamond and I'm from Unique Child International School. I'm 14 years of age and I'm in Form 2. My hobbies are reading and watching movies and I'm not sure Ministry of Health Basic School is unique as we are. Hello, I'm Syria Amopon. I am 13 years old. I attend Unique Child International School. I really like watching football and this year Unique Child is bringing on the fire. Hello, my name is Abena. I'm from Unique Child International. I'm 13 and in Form 2. My hobbies are singing, dancing, reading and watching movies. MOH Basic School can dream about winning because that's not going to happen. <laughs> And now that we've been introduced to our students who are going to be participating in the contest today, let's just jump straight into round one. Okay, if we're ready, let's start things off with Ministry of Health, Basic School. Which of the following statements about a transistor is correct? A. It can be used to amplify current. B. It is similar to three diodes. C. It consists of two leads only. And D. It has three junctions. A. A. Is A your final answer? Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> Unique child. An atom has six protons and seven neutrons in its nucleus. What is its mass number? A, one, B, six, C, seven, and D, 13. B. That's your final answer? Yes, please. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Ministry of Health, would you like to try that for a bonus? D, 13. 13 is indeed the correct answer. Ministry of Health, for your bonus. For your substantive question, my apologies. A record of daily activities on a farm is termed A, labor record, B, inventory record, C, farm diary, and D, production record.
That unfortunately is not correct. Unique child, would you like to try that for a bonus? A record of daily activities on a farm is termed labor record. That is A, B, inventory record, C, farm diary, and D, production record. Farm diary. Farm diary is indeed the correct answer for a bonus. I'll just kindly ask that you speak up when you have the answer because we can hardly hear you. So speak up and that will be it. Your substantive question, unique child. Which of the following devices works on the principle of transmission of pressure in fluids? A, or the, I'm going to give you a list and then I'll give you the options. I is water pumps. I, I is syringes. I, I, I is bicycle brakes. Now your options are A is I only. B is I and I, I only. C is I, I and I, I, I only. D is I, I, I and I, I, I. I, 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 and I, 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 only. That is correct. <laughs> Ministry of Health. Which of the following crops is not correctly matched with its group? A, cowpea, cereal crop. B, cocoa, beverage crop. C, coconut, oil crop. And D, cocoa yam, tuba crop. A. That's your final answer? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that is not correct. Unique child, would you like to try that for a bonus? That is not correct, unfortunately. The correct answer is Kokoyam. Tuba crop. Kokoyam. Question 8. The parts of a bony fish that are used to control the level at which the fish swims are known as A. Dorsal and caudal fins B. Caudal and pectoral fins C. Pectoral and pelvic fins and D. Dorsal and pectoral fins A. A is your final answer? Yes. Unfortunately, that is not mm -hmm. correct. Would you like to try that for a bonus? M O H. You don't want to try that. <laughs> okay. The correct answer is B caudal and pectoral fins. Caudal and pectoral fins. You need to speak directly into the microphone so we, the viewers at home, can hear your answers. Okay? All right. MOH, hopefully you would not shy away from this question. This is your substantive question. Millions reagent is used to test for A, carbohydrates, B, fats, C, proteins, and D, vitamins. C, protein. C <coughs> is correct. There. <laughs> Unique child. In an... NPN transistor. In an NPN transistor, the N type collector is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, thus making A base collector junction reverse biased, B base collector junction forward biased, C base emitter junction forward biased, or D base emitter junction forward biased. Yes, I can repeat the question. In an NPN transistor, the N-type collector is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, thus making the A, base collector junction reverse biased, B, base collector junction forward biased, C, 
base emitter junction for reverse biased or d base emitter junction forward biased unfortunately your time is up would you like to try that for a bonus m o h time is unfortunately up the correct answer is a base collector junction reverse biased that is the correct answer in an npn transistor the n type collector is connected to the positive terminal of the battery thus making the base collector junction reverse biased you are reminded to speak directly into the microphone so that our viewers can hear you we move on to some ICT questions now. And we're going to start off with Ministry of Health because that is your substantive question, I believe. To copy a file means to A. Cut the file from the desktop. B. Delete the file into recycle bin. C. Make a duplicate of the file. Or D. Remove the file from a folder. C. C is indeed the correct answer too for the price of one day. Unique child. Programs that perform specific tasks for users are referred to as A. Application software. B. Computer software. C. Operating software. Or D. System software. Application software. Application software. Application software is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Ministry of Health. A group of files are stored in A, a folder, B, graphic, C, text, and D, word. A, a folder. folder. Okay. You are all correct in series. Yes, indeed. I like, I like when you, you are confident about the, the answer. You speak directly into the microphone. It should apply for all questions that I pose to you. Unique child. The operation whereby the computer manipulates data to produce information is known as A. Capturing. B. Processing. D. Recording. And D. Retrieving. Processing. Processing is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Ministry of Health. The legal rights that does not allow people to copy intellectual property without permission of the original owner is called a copyright b freeware c piracy or d privacy copyright copyright is the correct answer <laughs> unique child unique child software that presents lessons in a movie like manner is referred to as a multiplicity b Multimedia, C, multi-purpose, or D, multitasking. Multimedia. Multimedia is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Ministry of Health. The symbols B, I, U are commonly used buttons found on the A, drawing toolbar. B, formatting toolbar. C, menu toolbar, and D, standard toolbar. B, formatting toolbar. Formatting toolbar is the correct answer. <laughs> Unique child, right-clicking a mouse on an open window does which of the following? A, creates a new document. B, opens a file menu. C, Opens a new menu, a new window, sorry, and D opens a context menu if available. Opens a context menu if available. Is that your final answer? Yes. yes. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Would you like to try that, Ministry of Health, for a bonus? Time is unfortunate. It opens a file menu. It opens a file menu. Ministry of Health. Which of the following computer keyboard keys is used to delete characters from left to right on the screen? A. Alternate. B. Backspace. C. Delete. And D. Shift. Delete key. The delete key is the correct answer. <laughs> you need to your question. 
When a user clicks within a selected text by holding down the left mouse button and then transfers the cursor to a different location within the same document, the text will be A, cut, B, moved, D, copied, or D, deleted. B moved is the correct answer. And now we get into some mathematics. We get into some mathematics. Okay. So you need child, Kelvin and Abna, you need to speak a little louder and be a little more clear. Okay? All right. Ministry of Health. The area of a circle is directly proportional to the radius of the circle. True or false? False. False is the correct answer. <laughs> Unique child. The circumference of a circle is directly proportional at the radius of the circle. True or false? False. Unfortunately, that is true. Unfortunately, that is true. The circumference of a circle is directly proportional at the radius of the circle. Ministry of Health. A set with only one member is not a real set. True or false? False. That is true. I mean, that's correct. Unique child, a square is a three-dimensional figure, true or false? A square is a three-dimensional figure, true or false? Time is up. True. Would you like to try that false. for a bonus? False is the correct answer. Your substantive question, a cube is a three-dimensional figure, true or true. false? True. True is correct. That's nice. That's nice. Unique child. A parallelogram has all its sides to be the same. True or false? False. False is the correct answer. <laughs> Ministry of Health. The area of a parallelogram is the product of its base and perpendicular height. True or false? True. True is the correct answer. You will need to calculate this one. Yes. Unique child. If 3y minus 2x equals 0, then the ratio y is to x is to y, sorry, is 3 is to 2. Is this true or false? It is true. <laughs> Abna, you didn't seem too sure about the answer there. Are you sure about it now? Well, let's move on to Ministry of Health. If 5x minus 7y equals 0, then the ratio of x is to y is 5 is to 7. Is this true or false? False. False is the correct answer. <laughs> Unique child. Once again, I'd like to remind you to speak directly into your microphone. Two or more sets are equivalent if they have the same number of elements. Is this true or false? True. That is correct. Ministry of Health. Two or more sets are equal if they have the same kind 
a number of elements. True or false? True. True is the correct answer. <laughs> Unique child. The set of natural numbers is a subset of a set of integers. True or false? The set of natural numbers is a subset of a set of integers. True or false? False. Unfortunately, true. time is up. The answer is true. Because the answer one, is true. One, one, Ministry of Health. The set of whole numbers is a set is a subset of natural numbers. The set of whole numbers is a subset of natural numbers. True or false? False. False is the correct answer. <laughs> Unique child. If a set A is a subset of B, then A intersection B is B. True or false? True. True is the correct answer. Kevin. <laughs> Ministry of Health. If the set A is a subset of B, then A union B is A. True or false? <clears throat> yes. True. Unfortunately, that is false. Unfortunately, that is false. You need to A rhombus has two lines of symmetry. True or false? True. Unfortunately, that is false. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is false. Our first riddle goes to you, Ministry of Health. I am a point of points on the vertical or horizontal axis. I occur only once in the origin, if occurring together at a point. I determine whether the point where a line or a curve cuts or meets any of the axes. I could be two or one, depending on the nature of the line or curve. Who am I? Time is up, unfortunately. Would you like to try that? Unique child for a bonus. The origin, which is zero. Unfortunately, that is not correct. The correct answer is intercepts. Mm -hmm. Your riddle. Mm -hmm. I am a universal figure that represents no quantity. I am neither negative nor positive. I may not be useful, but you cannot ignore me as I determine the value of figures. I do not add anything to figures when added but can make or unmake them. Who am I? Zero. Zero is the correct answer. <laughs> A truly tough round, round one has proven to be for these students, but they've come through smiling, at least some of them. When we return, we shall find out which ones will continue smiling and which ones will be wiping away a few tears if they have to. After round one, let us find out how the students actually performed. <laughs> Ministry of Health Basic School came through with 43 points. <laughs> Unique Child International School came through with 31 points. A very stiff competition we have on our hands today. Students are prepared, and we are as well. I hope you are as well. We're going to jump straight into round two. Are you ready for round two? 
so are you ready students for round two yes, yes. yes. i like that yes. mm -hmm. we started off the first round with unique child i believe and so we're going to begin with ministry of health ministry of health which of the following international organizations is the largest financial contributor to Ghana's developmental projects? A. African Union. B. Economic Community of West African States. C. The Commonwealth. And D. United Nations Organization. Which of the following international organizations is the largest financial contributor to Ghana's developmental projects? Time is up. Unique child, try that for a bonus. Right. United Nations Organization. United Nations Organization. <laughs> is a answer. Unique child, for your substantive question. The first political party formed in the Gold Coast was A. Convention People's Party. B. National Liberation Movement. C. United Gold Coast Convention. And D. United Party. United Gold Coast Convention. That is correct, Kelvin. <laughs> Ministry of Health. Which of the following settlements is a feature of a slum? Which of the following settlements is a feature of a slum? A. Dispersed settlement. B. Linear settlement. C. Overcrowded settlement. And D. Planned settlement. C, overcrowded settlement. C is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Unique child. Cocoa production is classified as A, cottage industry, B, primary industry, C, secondary industry, and D, tertiary industry. Primary industry. That is correct. <laughs> yeah, Ministry of Health. Pension benefits of Ghanaian workers are managed by A, the Bank of Ghana, B, Ghana Commercial Bank, C, Social Security and National Insurance Trust, and D, State Insurance Company. C, C Social <laughs> C, it is Social Security and National Insurance Trust. A bit of, a bit of... You're, you're a bit of a hurry to answer that, Augustina, but that is indeed correct, and congratulations to you. Unique child. Private businesses help in developing the nation when they A, increase their profits, B, import consumer goods, C, pay appropriate taxes, and D, produce more goods. C, pay appropriate taxes. Final answer. Uh, don't worry, it is the correct answer. <laughs> Ministry of Health. The main reason for establishing state-owned enterprises is to A, create competition in the country. B, generate foreign exchange in the country. C, generate profit for the state. And D, provide essential services to the public. D. Provide essential services for D is the first answer in D. <laughs> Unique child. Landmarks are important features used in finding A. Cardinal points. B. Compass point. C. Direction. And D. Layout. C. Direction. Direction it is. <laughs> Ministry of Health. The main benefit of tourism to Ghana is that it A, encourages intertribal marriages, B, enriches our culture, C, is a major foreign exchange earner, and D, promotes political stability. C, is a major, mm. major foreign exchange earner. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Unique child. Ethnic conflicts must be avoided because... They slow down A, economic development, B, rural urban migration, C, tribal disintegration, and D, urban rural migration. A, economic development. That is correct. Thank you. Thank you. 
We now delve into some English language questions. English questions. We have five questions per school. I hope the schools are ready. These are taken from the dilemma. These are taken from the dilemma. Ministry of Health. The origin, the origin of Atto's wife reminded the audience of what exactly the origin of Atto's wife in the dilemma of a ghost reminded the audience of what colonization I will take that slave trade colonization I will take that. <laughs> unique town in the same book why did Atto's relatives bring the medicine to the house? Why did Atto's relatives bring the medicine to the house? They thought um, Atto's wife was barren, so they wanted to use it to wash her tummy. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Ministry of Health. State the climax of the drama. State the climax of the drama. The Olali was buried. That's your final answer, but unfortunately that is incorrect. Unique child, would you like to try that for a bonus? When Atu slapped Olali. That is correct. For your substantive question, why was Atu's wife slapped? She, um, they were supposed to go for a funeral. She didn't want to go and she insulted his family. I will take that. She did not attend the Thanksgiving service. I will take that. Now moving on to Home Sweet Home, Ministry of Health. I hope you're familiar with that one. Yes. The river which was the source of water to the people of Dakana is called? The river which was the source of water to the people of Dakana is called? Well, time is up. Unique child, try that for a bonus. You wouldn't want to try that. Megum is the correct answer. Megum is the correct answer. Unique child. Why is the statement, losses before you leap, before your leap, important in the lives of people? Why is the statement, loses or losses before your leap, Important in the lives of the people. When people tend to, people tend to, um, they 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 lose a lot of things. Unfortunately, time is. Up. I'll give you some time to think about it while I inquire from Ministry of Health whether they would like to take that for a bonus. Remaining tight lift on that one. The words written on the tailboard of their only vehicle. The words written on the tailboard of their only vehicle. Ministry of Health. What is the simplest way of forming an adverb? And we have moved away from home sweet home. What is the simplest way of forming an adverb? By adding L-Y. That is correct. <laughs> Augustina, were you tongue-tied for a minute there? <laughs> All right. Unique child, give another name for subject-verb agreement. 
Give another name for subject verb agreement. Making a sentence. That is not correct. <laughs> I asked for a name for subject verb agreement. Ministry of Health. Try that for a bonus. It's a concord. A concord. Well, Ministry of Health, your question. What is a transitive verb? What are the characteristics of a transitive verb? What are the characteristics of, or what is the characteristic of a transitive verb? You can give me one if you have it. Time is up. Unique child. They take an object. They do take an object indeed. That is perfect. And to the final question of the round, going to Unique Child for your substantive question. What is the principle governing question tags? What is the principle governing question tags? If the question is positive, the answer is negative. If the question is negative, the answer is positive. Mm -hmm. I will, I will take that. I will take that. Negative tags do take positive tags. Positive tags take negative tags. Positive tags take negative tags, and negative statements take positive tags. That is indeed correct. Congratulations to you, Abena, and congratulations to you, Unique Child, on that round two. Ministry of Health as well. Congratulations. But then, who has performed what after the second round? It has been a thoroughly competitive round so far, but we are yet to broach the religious and moral education questions. And that is what we're going to get into right now. Ministry of Health. People cherish a spirit of obedience because it A, enhances tolerance, B, creates wealth, C, promotes security, and D, promotes peace. D, promotes peace. That is correct. <laughs> Unique child. Running errands for those in authority portrays a child to be A, honest, B, humble, C, obedient, and D, sincere. C, obedient. That is not correct. Ministry of Health? Time is up. The correct answer is B, humble. <laughs> Ministry of Health. Laziness always leads to A, misunderstanding, B, misuse of wealth, C, sickness, and D, waste of time. D, waste of time. That's correct. Unique child. Idleness means A, enjoying siesta, B, doing nothing, C, having fun, and D, playing games. B, doing nothing. B is the correct answer. <laughs> Ministry of Health. Which of the following behaviors is not a positive attitude to work? A, hard work, B, lateness, C, punctuality, and D, truthfulness. B. B it is. <laughs> Three for the price of one answer there. Very strong coming in from Ministry of Health. 
Now, unique child. Workers go on strike to A, attend political rallies. B, demand better conditions of service. C, destroy company property. And D, have some rest. B. B it is. <laughs> Ministry of Health. A corrupt practice common in offices in Ghana is A, armed robbery. B, environmental degradation. C, over invoicing. And D, prostitution. C. C is the correct answer. <laughs> Unique child. The best way of handling money is by A, writing scripture words on it. B, crumpling it into our pockets. C, holding it with wet hands. And D, holding it with clean hands. D, D is the correct answer. <laughs> Ministry of Health. The main aim of religious youth organizations is to A, become political forces in their communities. B, educate the youth through moral education. C, have inter-youth relations through competitions. And D, organize excursions to places of interest. B. B is the correct answer. <laughs> Unique child, for the final question of the round. The saying, time is money, means A, luck comes with time. B, money can be made with time. C, opportunity lost cannot be recovered. And D, wealth can be acquired with patience. C. C is the correct answer. <laughs> A thoroughly enjoyable round that was. When we come back, we shall find out which of these students is actually trying to win the contest and which of them is just in it. I told you it was a very good round. Things can change in a second right here on Best Brain. And now let's find out how the teams performed in round two. After round two, Ministry of Health came through with 33 points, three, three points. <laughs> Unique Child decided to take their destiny into their own hands and came through with 39 points. So at the end of the first two rounds, Ministry of Health has 76 points and Unique Child has 70 points. <laughs> it's now time for us to jump into round three. It's now time for us to discover which of these schools has the brainiest answer for the brainiest task for the day. Each school will select one representative to pick up your task. And so, for Ministry of Health, who will it be? Benedicta, you may come forward for your task. Here you go. Have a seat. Don't open it yet. Unique child, Abena. This is your brainiest task. Each school will be required to work together as a group on answering the question. The preamble. For as long as she lives, Ma Ruth will never forget June 3rd, 2015. It was the day on which the tiniest, tallest, thinnest, and thickest of tears all came together as her heart was torn apart. It was the day on which all of the trees, all of the old buildings, and all of the roads within Adabraka and Circle in Accra wept for Ma Ruth and her family. June 3 had been a very hot day during the 2015 rainy season. As the day went on, 
you could almost see the hot air rising quickly, high up into the cool skies where it would condense to become rain, very heavy rain, which would come pouring down with roaring thunder. And that's exactly what happened on the fateful night of June 3, 2015. At about three and a half hours to the third to a third past nine p.m., Ma Ruth walked the one and a quarter of a kilometer distance from her home to her rice and stew stand at Circle. As always, her 21-month-old daughter, Mama, was strapped to her back with a piece with a piece of tired, bleeding wax print, which was still damp from its afternoon wash. By 10 p.m. on June 3, 2015, Ma Ruth could no longer find her rice and stew stand, nor her tired, bleeding cloth, nor her 550 Ghana pesos. And her beloved Mama had been engulfed by the flames which had emerged from the dark after petrol met fire and water at Circle in Accra. Your question, students. Number one, or A. Which two literary devices are used in the following phrase? The tiniest, tallest, thinnest, and thickest of tears all came together. B. The following statement is an example of which literary device? Her heart was torn apart. C. Which two literary devices are used in the following phrase? All of the trees, all of the old buildings, and all of the roads within the Dabrakan circle all wept for Ma Ruth and her family. D. What type of rainfall is described in paragraph 3 of the preamble? E. List two types of rainfall. F. The punctuation marks, which are represented by three dots, are known as G. At about three and a half hours to a third past 9 p.m., Ma Ruth walked the one and a quarter of a kilometer distance from her home to her rice and stew stand at Circle. At about what time did Ma Ruth walk to Circle? G-I-I. Calculate the distance between Ma Ruth's home and her stand in centimeters. G-I-I-I. Calculate Mama's age in years. G-I-V. How many Ghana cities did Ma Ruth lose on June 3, 2015? And finally, H. In the context of the preamble, which of the following is correct in the context of the preamble? It's with an apostrophe or it's without an apostrophe. That is indeed the question for the day. To the students, you may begin now. Students, time is up. Drop your pens now. Let me have your answer sheets. Ministry of Health, let me have your answer sheet. Thank you very much. Unique Child, let me have your answer sheet. And now, we have the answer sheets from the two schools. When we return, we'll be seeing the answers on the boards.
It's now time for us to find out what the students actually did during the six minutes they had to answer the brainest task of the day. So, who has been selected from the schools to present the answers? Abana, would you be representing your school? And I'm guessing Christiana, you'll be representing your school. Please step forward, pick up the markers, and let's see the answers that you came up with in this round. The students have presented their answers and I believe they deserve a round of applause. I will run through the questions again and the answers as I have here on the answer sheet. The first question, which two literary devices are used in the following phrases? The tiniest, tallest, thinnest and thickest of tears all came together. The answer is alliteration, same consonant sound. And I believe that we had that. And the second one is assonance, same vowel sound. Assonance, same vowel sound. We didn't get that from any of the teams. The following statement is an example of which literary device? Her heart was torn apart. Correct answer is hyperbole. Correct answer is hyperbole, and it looks like Ministry of Health had that correct, but unfortunately, Unique Child had that wrong. Which two literary devices are used in the following phrase? All of the trees, all of the old buildings, and all of the roads within Adabraka and Circle in Accra wept for Ma Ruth and her family. Personification is the first. Object do not weep. Second is pathetic fallacy. The environment was mourning with Ma Ruth and her family. None of the schools, I believe, got that right. What type of rainfall is described in paragraph three of the preamble? It's convectional rainfall. Convectional rainfall. And it looks like Ministry of Health had that correct, but unfortunately, Unique Child had that wrong. List two types of rainfall. We have relief rainfall, we have frontal rainfall. Right, so we have frontal and cyclonic correctly stated there, and cyclonic and relief rainfall stated there as well. Congratulations to both teams on that one. The punctuation marks, which are represented by three dots, are also known as, correct answer is points of ellipsis. Points of ellipsis. Ministry of Health went with continuation mark. I'm not sure where exactly that is coming from. But we didn't have an answer from Unique Child. About three and a half hours to a third past 9 p.m., Ma Ruth walked the one and a quarter of a kilometer distance from her home, from her home to her rice and stew stand at Circle. Correct answer is 5.50 p.m. 5.50 p.m. Second question. Calculate the distance between Ma Ruth's home and her stand in centimeters. Correct answer is 125,000 centimeters. 125,000 centimeters. 
One school actually made an attempt and had 2,500 centimeters. Unfortunately, Ministry of Health did not give us an answer for that. Sorry, <laughs> Unique Child did not give us an answer for that. Good attempt, by the way. Calculate Mama's age in years. Calculate Mama's age in years. That's one and three quarter years. So we have 1.75, but unfortunately, one year and nine months is not the correct answer. How many Ghana CDs did Ma Ruth lose on June 3, 2015? Correct answer is five CDs, 50 pesos. And we have that correctly stated. Five CDs, 50 pesos, also stated by Unique Child. Final question, I believe. In the context of the preamble, which of the following is correct? It's with an apostrophe and it's without an apostrophe. Ministry of Health had that correct? Without the apostrophe is the correct answer. And... Unique Child also had that correct. A loud round of applause is... is <laughs> for remarkable work. Remarkable work from both schools. I believe congratulations are truly in order for both schools. But when we return, we shall find out what the true state of affairs are with regards to the score. <laughs> I am excited. I don't know about you. These students in the studio are excited, hopefully on the same level as I am. It's time for us to figure out which school has won today's contest. Students, are you ready to find out? Uh, yes. Well, whether you're ready or not, we're still going to find out anyway. At the end of round three, Ministry of Health came through with six correct answers out of ten. <laughs> Unique Child came through with five answers correct out of ten. So the grand total for today stands as follows. Unique Child with 75 points. But the grand winners of today's contest, Ministry of Health Basic School, with 82 points. <laughs> Congratulations to all the teams that participated today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for gracing our studios with such great genius work and such commitment to this cause congratulations to you unique child thank you so much for participating and of course the ministry of health basic school congratulations you've made it to the next round for you at home you can join us with your thoughts your comments best brain is the hashtag to use and we will be getting to those comments as and when they come through my name is philip ashon i have been and will always be your quiz master on the show this is Best Brain. This is City TV. But this, most importantly, is where knowledge lives. <laughs>